to show you how I do the masking in order to get a double stamped image. And first what I do is I take my stamp and I stamp it onto some masking paper. You can also use post-it notes, that'll work, but I basically stamp it onto the uh, masking paper, then I fussy cut it out. So you can see I fussy cut the horse out. Now what I'll do is I'll actually stamp it onto the uh, piece of cardstock that I'm going to be coloring and you want to start with the image that you want at the focal point and the front of the card and so I use I use the memento tuxedo black ink going to ink up my stamp and I'm going to stamp this first so there you go now with the mask that I had already pre-cut out, I'm going to take that and place that over the image. Hopefully it's dry. <laughs> I'm going to put that over the image. I'm going to adhere that. And then I am going to stamp on top of this with my secondary image, which is the background image. And I want to get a really good imprint. I forgot to put that down. Okay, so I want this to look like it's in the background, but I want it to be kind of behind the horse. So I'm going to stamp it there. And now we'll take the mask off, and there you have it. Now it looks like the horse is in the foreground, and the barn with the silo is in the background. So that's how I do my masking. Now we'll come back in another video and I'll show you how I do coloring with this image. One other thing I do, once I've created the mask, I will go ahead and store this because it can be used multiple times. So I'll store this along with my entire sheet of the stamp set and that way I have it the next time I go, it's right there. I don't have to redo all of the fussy cutting. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Happy paper crafting.